Okay, bird watching in the daytime. It's pretty challenging, but bird watching at night. Whole different ball game, mm -hmm. but a local man, well, he built a hotel for fearsome nocturnal predators right in his backyard. He says it's Tim Blodgett has the story. It's a real jungle out in Alan Bilestein's Fletcher Hills backyard. We've got uh, Cooper's hawks, garter snakes, king snake. I mean, this whole area is just a very nice area for seeing wildlife. The abundant number of rodents like mice and gophers scurrying around gives apex predators like the barn owl plenty of food to feed their owlets, which is why Bilestein thought it would be a good idea to set up one of these, an owl box, for these guys to raise their young. For eight whole years, not a single owl checked into Allen's hotel until... And I was thinking about replacing it this fall, and lo and behold, about uh, eight weeks ago, I heard uh, screeching. <laughs> This footage recorded from a trail camera in Allen's backyard catches the owlets on dinner time. Of course, their meal is swallowed whole. And it's kind of a potpourri of what they bring, but it's usually rodents or small rabbits every once in a while, but mostly rodents. And while these are barn owls, not screech owls, you should probably know they're pretty loud before you put one in your backyard. If you're thinking about putting an owl box in, uh, just one caveat, they're noisy. I mean, they, they, the babies are squawking all night, the parents squawk. It's been about eight weeks since the barn owls roosted in Allen's backyard, about the amount of time it takes for owlets to leave the nest. The box in the backyard, just another way humans live with the environment around us, and he hopes to have it filled again soon. We're enjoying the heck out of it. You know, in this day and age, any, any uh, source of entertainment or uh, nature, especially in an urban environment, it, it's, it's a great thing. Tim Blodgett. News 8.